can men get pregnant? <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't know. No. No, no, you don't know. I don't know. I believe a man can get pregnant. Sometimes. Uh, I'm, I might have learned this in some class, I think. Can men get pregnant? You wouldn't have thought that that would be a controversial question or one that would stump folks when they were asked. But welcome to 2024, I guess. We're going to break down a hilarious new video where interviewees are stumped by this question. But first, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brad Palumbo. I cover all the craziest things on the internet, in our politics, and in the LGBT community from a center-right moderate perspective. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. We just crossed the 100,000 threshold, and I'm so excited and happy to have you all here with me. And don't forget to like and comment as we go along. Now let's check out a snippet from this video by James Klug, who I'll link to in the description and the comment section for the full video, where he interviewed young people and then also everyday Americans about a very simple sounding question, can men get pregnant, that some people had interesting answers to? Can men get pregnant? <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't know. No. No, no, you don't know? I don't know. I believe a man can get pregnant. Sometimes? Uh, I'm, I might have learned this in some class, I think. Stop, what class? Please, tell me what class you learned <laughs> that men can get pregnant. It depends on what they identify as. <laughs> no? I think like, yeah, technically, yeah. But if you identify as male, but you're biologically a female, you can, yes. Can men get pregnant? No, that's a stupid ass question. <laughs> But yeah, no. 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 What's that, a trick question? No. I don't think so. No. No. Impossible, you don't have a vagina to get pregnant. I'm getting a little worried about where this conversation is going, so I will escape this conversation. Ooh. I'm sorry. What's so <laughs> worrisome about it? What? She's... What? <laughs> What are you worried about, girly? You're you're scared of this question? <laughs> I feel like this is a controversial topic. I don't want to... Is it? I don't want to answer. <laughs> We're not doing this <laughs> <laughs> Is it controversial? It's controversial, definitely. Well, why is that? Because everyone has a different opinion of what a man is. <laughs> um, like, what, what source is this for? Like, what's like the... This is going on MySpace. On MySpace? Well, no, I guess men can't get pregnant, but a trans female could get pregnant. I'm trans, yeah, female could get pregnant. I might have to pass, because I feel like that's a strange question for, at least in the current times, you know? Who might have been? Trans female could get pregnant? I said I Just yeah. a man who... Wait, did I say that wrong? I don't know. I might have. Come on, you know that. Come on, man. You're a man, right? Yes, sir. You, can you get knocked up? No, sir. All right, then why would you ask me something crazy like that? It is a little crazy. Oh, you mean because trans people say that they can do that? No. What do you, men? How can men get pregnant? You haven't gotten pregnant? No. I mean, if there is a trans man who was assigned female at birth, I'm not a professional on gender studies in any way. Stop, stop. I'm not a professional on gender studies. Babe, if you had a PhD in gender studies, I, I can actually tell you that that would only make you more confused about the correct answer to this question, not less. I guess, in my opinion, like, um, you don't have to be biologically, like, biologically male to be a man and so yes men can get pregnant you said you said yes well i feel like wait well, yeah, i feel like technically yes like that's just like a fact right can men get pregnant like yeah like, just like technically fact. they are able to right you and i we're, we're not we can't get pregnant <laughs> no no <I> don't know. <laughs> do you mean like is it right to or you mean technically men can get pregnant well yeah you know i'm talking to college students today some of them are saying absolutely yes what's going on there I don't know, this world's going to hell, that's all I know. <laughs> I don't see how they can physically get pregnant. I have no idea, I've never heard of that, ever. What on earth is going on there? Yeah, I'm not sure, man. I never, I don't think that's real. It's what you call an illusion. I call it, um, a delu uh, illness of the mind. <laughs> the nature of what's going on with media and everything else, they've, they've, they've grown accustomed to whatever it is. And, yeah. And so, yeah, they probably they can believe that they could get pregnant, but the reality is they can't. Men don't have the necessary parts in order to carry a child to term, let's say. I know it's a hot topic. I would say it's, it's a little bit confused, but um, obviously it's tough to say, especially in this the campus. <laughs> Am I losing it? Is it just me? 
I have many thoughts on this video, and I'm going to give you all my take in just a second. But once again, shout out to James Klug for making this video. You can watch the full thing at the link in the description and in the comments section. So first and foremost, I have to say I always find it hilarious. So he interviewed students at the University of Pennsylvania and then random people on the street. And I find the dichotomy here super interesting between what woke young college students think and then what everyday normies, women, men, Black people, white people all had to say about it. it. Just that to me, that's like the divide in America kind of in a nutshell is those two images side by side. I don't really understand why anyone finds this a difficult question to answer because I'd answer it pretty simply like this. There are two sexes, male and female. Only females can get pregnant. There are some trans men who want to live lives as men socially and present themselves as men, but who are biologically female and they can also get pregnant. Like it's really not that hard. You don't need a PhD. You don't need to have taken a class in it, be an expert in gender studies, any of this to understand these basic concepts. But the thing about this video that I actually found alarming and disturbing was how afraid, how genuinely scared so many of these young college students seemed to even attempt to answer the question, to be on record saying something controversial, which, boy, that's really a sign of the times if saying only females can get pregnant is now a controversial take. But regardless, where is these young people's spine? Where is their willingness to just say what they believe or they think rather than being cowards and running away from a very basic question because they're afraid they might get canceled or whatever? You know, I was just watching a video earlier today about a Chinese immigrant who came to America and who has spoken out against the Chinese government and its authoritarian abuses and human rights violations. And he was detailing how his family at home have been harassed and put in jeopardy, how he can probably never go back to China, all these things. And yet in America, where we have free speech and a First Amendment that so many people take for granted, young people are afraid their peers might be mad at them so they won't answer a basic question. Every one of them knows the correct and accurate answer to this question, folks. The one that says, I don't know, I'm not sure, or I'm not an expert. It's a cheap cop out. And that's fine, I guess. You don't have any obligation to be in this guy's YouTube video, but I don't like the atmosphere, this repressive, afraid to step out of line atmosphere on a college campus of all places. UPenn is supposed to be one of the elite academic institutions in America, but you have students too afraid to even express an incredibly mainstream opinion to even say so on camera because of their fear of backlash, of cancellation, of being smeared as a bigot, and so on. That's not an atmosphere where serious learning or debate or exchange of ideas is happening. That's an echo chamber, an indoctrination factory, where people are going to get slips of paper to take on to get a job later on, but aren't actually having their ideas and their intellect challenged and stretched or grown in any meaningful sense. To me, that's a lot more concerning than whether people can correctly answer a man on the street interview question. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments section below how you would answer this question and what you think of the people who are too afraid to even be caught on camera saying these offensive things. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and comment with your thoughts and maybe even consider subscribing and joining this community. We're growing so fast and it's so great to have you all here with me. That's it for this video, but if you're not sick of my content yet, you can go here or here to check out some of my other videos and remember to check out James Kluge's channel in the link in the description.